This video is to be used for educational purposes only and is not intended to replace individual research or licensed investment advice. Unique experiences and past performance does not guarantee future results. Trading stocks, options, and spot currencies involves substantial risk and there's always the potential for loss. Your trading results may vary. No representations are being made that any software or training will guarantee profits or not result in losses from trading. This is the Premier Trade Market Wrap with Ivan Caesar. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the Premier Trade Market Wrap for June 6, 2007. My name is Ivan Caesar, and this is the news. The productivity of American workers slowed sharply in the first three months of this year, but wage pressures eased as well providing evidence that inflation is being restrained. The Labor Department reported that the amount of output per hour of work for non-farm businesses rose at an annual rate of 1% in the January-March quarter. That was the slowest advance since the third quarter of last year. The White House said in its semi-annual economic forecast that the U.S. economy should slow this year to about 2.3% growth, but the job market should remain healthy. According to the combined forecast of the Council of Economic Advisors, the Treasury Department, and the Office of Management and Budget, inflation should spike higher to 3.2% on increased energy costs, but core inflation should stay at more moderate levels. The European Central Bank raised its benchmark rate by a quarter percentage point to 4%, its highest level in nearly six years as the economy of the region that shares the euro currency grows at a healthy pace. ECB President Jean-Claude Trichet said at a news conference that monetary policy is still on the accommodative side. Walmart will launch a prepaid card aimed at customers who do not have access to a bank account. The product, called the Walmart Money Card, represents a significant expansion of Walmart's financial services for mostly low-income customers, which include low costs, cash checking, and money transfer service. The corporate managers of the U.S. auto industry are urging congressional leaders to re-examine a plan to increase fuel efficiency standards that automakers say could hurt their industry. Leaders of General Motors, Ford, and Chrysler will discuss the impact of healthcare, trade, and energy policies on their companies and urge congressional leaders in private meetings to consider an alternative to a proposed overhaul of corporate average fuel economy standards for vehicles. Hedge funds SAC Capital and Jenna Partners have taken an 8.4% stake in TD Ameritrade and have told a discount broker to pursue a merger with one of its rivals. The company also said that it has expressed interest in the past in growth through mergers or acquisitions, but at the right time and if it can find the right strategic fit. Wild Oats Markets said that federal regulators will file a lawsuit to prevent its acquisition by competitor Whole Foods Market. Greg Mays, Wild Oats chairman and chief executive, said his company in Whole Foods will challenge any lawsuit that is filed because they believe the union of the two grocers will benefit the marketplace. Last but not least, International Business Machines has acquired to, I'm sorry, has agreed to acquire Watchfire Corp a privately held security software maker for undisclosed sum. The acquisition is expected to close in the third quarter. 
Watch Fire's operation will become part of IBM's rational software brand, extending the company's governance and risk management strategy. Scheduled economic reports for Thursday include the initial jobless claims for the week of June 2nd, wholesale inventories for April, and consumer credit for April. Scheduled earnings reports for Thursday include the National Semiconductor, Hooker Furniture, Nobility Homes, Smithfield Foods, Analogic Corp, and Neiman Marcus Group. This has been the premier trade market wrap for June 6, 2007.